But for those few women that are in an abusive relationship, I'm sure they feel pretty caged and they are isolated from their friends and family as well as feeling helpless as to what they can do. They also feel like they are being manipulated and most of all, I'm sure they are in that relationship out of fear. But through my foundation that I've started, Voices for All, the Carolyn Thomas Foundation, I will raise as much awareness as I can about domestic violence, let them know what signs to look out for. Also, I will be coordinating events for scholarships as well as other programs. And before I filled out my paperwork for my 5013C, everyone told me, you know, Carolyn, you're not going to get a nonprofit organization, you know, you'll never get it. It, it takes forever for the paperwork. And really, it was, a, it was a lot of paperwork, but I got my answer back within six weeks. So I am a nonprofit organization. I am currently working on grants so that I can finally move out of my guest bedroom into a nice office. And I formed board members and I will be having uh, my first, well it was going to be a summer lunch party but uh, we've changed it. It's probably not going to be until after the new year due to my surgery. But with everything that's happened to me, I've made a call to action and I want people to know what it is that you can do for your friends or for your loved ones, uh, family members. Be the nosy neighbor. Pay attention to how your friend or your loved one is changing. Are they not coming around as much as they used to? Or are they not telling the same corny jokes as they used to? Or changing the way they dress? Pay attention and be that nosy neighbor. And take advantage of those options that are available for them. Because most of the time, the abuser is around a lot of times. And they may be afraid to call 911. I thought of something for the few women that do go into the hospital. I thought, how can we as a society or you know, people that are in the medical field, how can we get this information to those women? How can we get it to them without putting it on a card and the abuser finding it? I came up with the idea, everyone that goes to the hospital, you get the medical ID bracelet. And I thought about why not put your local shelter under that number, under, your, under that ID bracelet? Why not put the National Domestic Violence Hotline number under that bracelet for those women? because the abuser really doesn't pay attention to that. I just want people to be more observant of what's going on out there. And in close, I would just like to read to you what I told my abuser that was tried for the murder of my mom and the attempted murder of me. He was convicted and received the maximum of two life sentences. I read, after the jury delivered the verdict, I read the statement to the man who robbed me of my outer beauty, but not of my spirit. Terrence, I said, since you did this to me, I have learned that what does not kill you in life will make you stronger. You took away from me the one thing that I loved so dearly, and that was my mother. At least you get to see your mother, even if you are in prison. You cannot even imagine what, what it was like for me to wake up in the hospital and learn that not only was my mother dead, but that I had lost half my face. I have decided to take back my life. And I want you to know that you no longer have control over me. I can honestly say that I forgive you and that the world now knows me as the woman without a face, but I would rather be remembered as the woman who was a survivor. Amen.